The theme of this year's conference is Perestroika. So I wanted to shine a light on the, the, the challenges of that transformation and, and try to look at from many different vectors how to successfully make that transformation into the network age. We're talking about issues that are affecting media and affecting people. And um, so it's like, you know, great minds from both sides of the coin. A highlight for me was Jeff Pulver's talk. Um, Jeff Pulver, um, you know, started out in the voice over IP industry and, um, you know, over time kind of moved more into the real time web. He was talking about um, uh, Doctors Without Borders after the Haitian earthquake. Some journalist was in Haiti and the planes couldn't land because the military was blocking off the airfields. So she had written a tweet about it and he retweeted it and basically he got a, a message reply back from the U.S. Air Force that was like, we're on it. We're talking so much about privacy, 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 that we risk losing the benefits of the connections the internet makes. We risk, risk losing the benefits of publicness to us as individuals, to us as societies, uh, the transparency we're gonna demand of companies and governments, and the knowledge that we have as a whole, the, the, the value that the, the, you know, the public sphere is owned by us, the public. A lot of the things I'm hearing about more this year are how you take the, the social web, social media, and apply it in ways that haven't been, hasn't been used before. Yesterday, we heard a conversation around how the government can actually use social media in ways to improve the services they provide to citizens, for example. Today, it's more about how can businesses use social media. Um, and so these are the kinds of discussions I find very exciting and interesting, and hopefully the folks here also are, are learning some things because this, these are all cutting edge aspects of life that don't typically make the front page of even the New York Times or the Washington Post, but these are things actually happening on the ground by small companies, startups, entrepreneurs who are trying to figure out ways uh, to improve uh, the experience for consumers of the web. It's not just thinking about this mass audience any longer. It's like thinking more about individuals and thinking about localities. Um, that, that's where I see the future going. The Zulu people have a greeting, and instead of saying hi, which doesn't much mean anything, there's this sawubona, which means I see you, which is I recognize that you're a human and that you're there. And to me, I think that's the huge thing that social media does so well, it says, I see you. The future of business, I think, is not going to be about big industries and oligopolies. I think the future of business is going to be on, on three layers. Platforms, entrepreneurship, and networks, I think, are where, what replace the large owned industries we have now. So the technology that enables that, like Google, uh, is what interests me most. What Supernova off offers is a lot of really smart, engaging minds. Uh, Wharton has this, you know, experience in the business meets technology meets passion kind of space. And I think that Kevin and the Supernova team have done a lot to sort of bring that together. So the reason I wanted to dip back in is to find, you know, the smart minds. This is part of the DNA of business meets technology. So it's an exciting conference to be part of. I've come to Supernova for many years now. As I mentioned earlier, it's an exciting place to learn about the real cutting edge technology and business issues, and then some of the policy implications as well. I deliberately designed this conference so that I don't know all the answers ahead of time. Put people together with clashing perspectives, put, put uh, different scenarios together in the hopes that, that when, you, when you run the experiment live, you actually put the right people in the room, interesting things come about.